There are several different options for portable oxygen. These include portable oxygen concentrators, compressed gas tanks, and liquid oxygen. Each format has its own benefits and limitations. Portable oxygen concentrators have the convenience of small size and a rechargeable battery, but the amount of oxygen they provide is often insufficient for patients who need flow rates of more than two to three liters per minute. Compressed gas tanks can provide higher flow rates, but are relatively heavy and can run out quickly at higher flow rates, meaning you have to carry several tanks to get you through the day. Liquid oxygen can provide flow rates up to 15 liters per minute from a relatively small container that weighs between three and 11 pounds. So it's a great portable option for patients. For some people who need high flow rates, liquid oxygen is the only system that they can manage independently outside of the home. How liquid oxygen works. When oxygen is cooled to a very low temperature, it becomes liquid. The liquid oxygen is stored in a refrigerated container. As it leaves the container, it warms up to room temperature and becomes a gas, which then flows into a cannula, tubing that directs the oxygen into the nose. A few important things to note. Portable liquid oxygen tanks can be refilled from a stationary liquid system at home. To avoid injury, Training is required to learn how to refill a liquid portable tank from the stationary system. Liquid oxygen units have to be kept upright to prevent leaks. So work with the supplier to make sure you understand how to safely handle the system. Unfortunately, currently many suppliers around the United States do not offer liquid oxygen. If you use supplemental oxygen, Talk with your doctor about which oxygen system is right for you.